what up, everybody? It's me, Z Swigs. We had a fun day yesterday. Almost no gaming. I did play a little bit of Peggle, which is one of the greatest games of all time. So I guess you could say that it, we actually achieved peak gaming. But regardless, we watched a couple announcements yesterday. One was from Bungie, where they talked about the new season that dropped yesterday and their upcoming expansion, which looks awesome, coming out in February. If you're not into Destiny, after that, we watched the Xbox presentation at Gamescom, where they talked about some zombie games, some more zombie games, some radioactive mutant games, Flight Simulator, and Forza. Some of those games I enjoyed looking at. Some of them I slept through. But either way, edited out all the boring parts, and now we've got some reactions for you to some cool gaming announcements. I believe uh, today, the day that we're recording this, I should say, August 25th, 2021, uh, is Gamescom opening night live. So today we're going to watch that one, and hopefully we get some cool stuff from Kojima. But we'll worry about that tomorrow. Today, we got some of those announcements. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, for a few things that you'll see in this video, uh, the Destiny stuff, the Forza stuff, it's it's pretty cool, and uh, I would love to hear what you think, so let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to any of this. Of course, as always, subscribe to the channel. I would, I would very much appreciate it. It's totally free. Supports. Hit the like button if you would uh, like to like what I'd like. They need to think. I, I know the like button is prevalent, but good lord. How many times can I say the word like? You know, it's a it's a lot of liking. It's, it's, that's a that's a werewolf. Whatever. Anyway, come on see me over at twitch.tv slash zswigs up there every weekday. And if you want to see all the content, including all the exclusive stuff on my Patreon, head over to zswigs.com. We got merch over there. We got lots of cool stuff. I started playing Psychonauts. If you're into that, we're going to play through one and two over there at zswigs.com. So check that out if you'd like. I appreciate you hanging out, watching these videos, truly. And I'll see you in the next one. So, But the Spider-Man trailer was freaking nuts. It's nuts. I was talking in the Discord earlier with Loki, a huge fan of uh, the Marvel Universe. And I told him, one... I think that the scene where Doc Ock says, hello, Peter, and then they flash to Spider-Man, Peter Parker, standing on a car, that's actually, that's actually Doc Ock talking to Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. They just cut it in a way, okay? I'm telling you, it's going to happen, okay? And second prediction that I have is that there's actually scenes in that trailer, Okay, there's actually scenes in that trailer that have more than one Spider-Man in it. It has Spider-Men, okay? And they removed the extra Spider-Men digitally. Just, I mean, they, Marvel's done it before. Like, you go back, you watch the Infinity War trailer, like, you see, you see, you see, like, Captain America, like, holding back Thanos' hand, which is the very end of the movie, and, like, Thanos only has two stones, you know? Like, they've done it before. Like, like, the Hulk is in the Infinity War trailer. You know what I mean? Like... Marvel, Marvel's done it before, I'm telling you. So, Destiny thing, I, uh, I don't know really. I, guys, I'm going to be I don't know why I'm watching this. I used to be a big Destiny fan. I have like 2,000 hours of Destiny under my belt, Destiny 1. And I wasn't a huge fan of Destiny, Destiny 2, so I kind of gave it up. Got a little bit back in during Forsaken and then kind of stopped. But they're announcing the next uh, expansion today. So, for some reason, I want to check it out. And then after this, Xbox presentation. Okay? So, just strap in. Sorry if you don't care about Destiny. This year we're celebrating but, our journey you know. with you. Tell me, little light. What is your truth now? The music's so good, though. Oh, my God. Wait, so Sabathon has evil ghosts? Bruh. Our own light powers are being used against us. I mean, she has this whole army of hive that she's ascended to the light and brought along with her. These are the hive guardians, and they are the backbone of her new army. Dude, that's pretty sick, bro. We've talked a lot. The light. 
I like how she's all smart and she figured out how to harness the light. Even though she's basically evil personified, she took goodness personified and is now using it against us. Like, they have supers and stuff, dude. That's crazy. Like, she has this ginormous galaxy brain and we're just like, I got a sword, though! Dude, is that... Did they just stab someone like a pike? Bruh! Brutal! I cannot wait just to reach out and just crush a hive ghost in my hand. Yeah. It's our first ever first person melee weapon, and it is such an awesome tool for the Dude, battlefield. That looks sick, to be honest. That looks really cool. The it's really so dumb good. to be fighting just in jump in space. And unleash these Use a glaive, but I love it. Transition right to an energy blast. It's, it's a really shotgun sword. A That's exactly what it is, so, bro. We've told you about what the glaive can do. What does it feel like to storm a castle or just go straight into the depths of hell? If you like games with standalone campaigns like Doom, Titanfall 2, God of War, and Halo, then the Witch Queen is for you. No, you need to relax, okay? He just, he just named like four of the so, best games of all time. to our classic normal mode. Take it a little easy. is our tougher, aspirational version of the campaign. This must be Bungie's 30th anniversary, right? Yeah. Monster trolling? Does he really not know that Bungie made Halo? Be better. No. To leave the world in a better place. Yeah, bro. Want to be a part of that social change. That's what. Bu that's what made world. Bungie famous. Halo One, Two, Three, ODST, Reach, right? Really utilize the success. Honestly, Bungie is like one of Pressing the Bungie. best uh, <laughs> studios out there when it comes to like cultural progression and giving back to community. Like, they're actually, they seem like a good place. They're like the anti-Blizzard. <laughs> they seem to really care about their employees, which is pretty rare, I think. But the party isn't only happening in Destiny 2. We've partnered with Nerf Limited to create a functional dart-firing Gallahorn. Oh. We'll have more on that soon. And that's Are not you all. Here's serious, a look at some incredible bro? loot we've made over the years and a sneak peek of what's coming <clears throat> All right, where's that gonna go on my wall? She has ever been. Dude, this kind of looks dope. Let's be honest. It's like the upside down. Like you go to like locations, but they're all taken and stuff. Is inevitably to come. The glaive. I love the glaive. And that's so brutal. Here, here's the thing, though, about. Here's the thing though about Destiny, like all of this, all of this costs money, and like I don't know how much money all this costs. So I'm gonna have to buy. I'm gonna have to buy if I want. So if I wanted to get into it, let's just say theoretically, if I wanted to jump back into Destiny, okay, I'm gonna have to buy the new season, which are, there's four of those a year, and I'm gonna have to buy the expansion, and then on. Does that, I don't know if that includes the battle pass. And then it sounds like there's also content that you get by buying the deluxe edition. And dude, there's a, there sounds like there's a lot of stuff. Okay. So is this like, is this, is this out? Am I done with destiny? I may be less done with destiny now than I've ever been. Flight sim. Let's do it. God, look at that chicken sandwich over there. Plans, lies. No, show no, the chicken sandwich more. The virus started it. This, I mean, this game to me just scene. looks like Villador. generic zombie killer game, you know? A like, I'm sure it's fun to play, I but... Hope. but soon, I just feel like I've played this game before. The last time we met was at the Xbox Game Showcase. This game was so and fun, getting dude. getting ready to come out on consoles. How did that go? But as the movie is still under wraps, and so are we, so I can still not tell you that much about it. But there's so much else going on even before Maverick. So, um, Dude, I'm literally uh, going to fly a jet into Everest. It's going to be dope. This that we've been doing for a long time. I and get away. Next month on September 7th, Hugo Junkers, and he's helping us. He had a ton of inside and materials. Then we worked with an organization. God, I couldn't that wait to crash that thing into a mountain. Examples of the Junkers. So they let you us think this guy cries? And, like, you think if you ever saw my gameplay of taking this aircraft that he loves and just flying it upside down into the Statue of Liberty? He lets us know, like, is the cockpit. 
cockpit right. He just loses right, mind. Peel right in the air. Is it gonna have sweet music also? This looks like Devil Daggers. Where Shower's at? This looks like it's up his alley. This is Devil Daggers with twice the polygons, bro. Literally, this is just, they, they just stole Devil Daggers and gave it color. This is Devil Daggers with a budget. And um, we have over an hour of them total and they're called Hands on Histories. And what they are is a great way to like deep dive on certain fun subjects. It was the king of all siege engines. What? A catapult capable of smashing down castle walls from great distances. They literally built a trebuchet for this? Bro, we're all in the wrong business. Dude, that, looked, that was sweet. Makes me want to go siege you know, some castles, you know? <laughs> they, they go all over the place. So, you know, we've got ones on warfare and castle building and like how they kept flaming arrows from not going out when she shot them. And um, so, uh, but sweet. we've also got all of these ones on, you know, like illuminated history and um, hawk falconing and I just want to you know, watch like these. I don't even want to play the game, dude. Creation. Um, Games are large and you want to keep Has anyone ever you know tried this? Your hard drive? Xbox Cloud Gaming is about You would want cloud gaming because right it doesn't install. It's super exciting that for our Game Pass Ultimate instant members, patches, you have instant cloud patches, gaming on whatever you have, they have no storage space, really about looking technically at better graphics like on PC for example because it runs at max specs. Sometimes I just have 20 minutes. But you got to wonder about as uh as finding the game that, that latency on your console and and I really think that the version that we have now is the absolute best version of the game. And if you've never played it before, now is an awesome time. Can you imagine him coming out and being like, "I really well, think the version we have now is everything that you've been second doing or third best." Right now, like it was DLC better three months ago than it is right now. But we've nation. done our best full now, tilt. Talk about that little bit. Tell tell me heading to see a thieves. Better yet, this event begins tomorrow. Oh. So get ready to make some mayhem. And let's get our first look at this very special ship. It's gonna be some great ship, chat. Holy ship. Is this Borderlands? Yeah, Borderlands. That's some crazy ship. That's pretty sick looking, actually. I love the transparent. Dude, it's such a throwback, bro. I love it. That just looks like the 90s. Okay, I'm actually, I actually legit love that controller. That actually looks really cool. That actually looks really slick. And freedom to beautiful and vibrant Mexico. Dude, I Play like his shirt. Across the it's got like a colorful horse on it, dude. Ever built in hundreds of. God, I love that Bronco. You get to parachute out of planes in this game. Now what they need to do is merge Flight Sim and Forza so you could fly all around the world in your plane and then when you're ready, you drop out the back in your Ford Bronco. Dude, that's pretty sick. I'm really excited for this game, to be honest. Dude, this looks sick. I am so ready for this, man. This looks awesome. There's the supercar. Up zone approaching. Lovely day for a drive. Dude, that's so sick. Dude, this looks incredible, man. I'm so ready. 
past the Tesla. Dude, that looks so good. Oh my god, are they gonna do it to us again? Okay, on my mark. Five, four. They doing it again! Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, They're gonna scare the birds! Next up is the Porsche 911 Desert Flyer. Dude, this looks so good. I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready. You're not gonna believe your eyes when you see this. God, they're doing another one! It just keeps going, bro! This is the final drop. The whole festival is waiting. Go, go, go! What do you say? The rest of the festival wins? Vamonos! And on the final leg, we have the stunning Mercedes AMG One at full speed across Mexico's sun-baked rocky coast. Dude, it's gorgeous. Horizon. This is Mexico. That's super cool. I'm so on board for that game, bro. November. I can't wait. <laughs>